Oh yeah, people. Uh, hi everyone. Uh, today we're gonna learn about uh, section two point one. Um, the red triangular coordinate. Sorry. Just go ahead. Just go. Coordinate system. So actually, I'm gonna combine two point one and two point two. So um, um, you can just follow all the instruction. Um, <clears throat> so uh, first thing um, we did learn about uh, given equation and find the intercept um, uh, in the class today. Uh, and if you really consider about that, you can just follow the uh, the, the form that uh, I give you. Um, like find the arch intercept, so you have to set y equals zero and then solve for x. For the y itself, you're just gonna set x equals zero and then solve for y. Similarly, all right. <coughs> So um, <coughs> um, distance formula. Okay. So distance formula. Um, you can just gonna um, distance formula. You're gonna just using the formula as d equals square root of uh, x. 2 minus x1, everything square, and then plus y2 minus y1, everything square. So, um, uh, distance formula means uh, you have two points. So here's x1, here's x, uh, y1, and here's x2, y2. And then if you want to find out, hey, what what is the distance between two of these points? Okay, so for example, uh, if I give you, hey, um, let's say uh, I have here is one and here is two. This is gonna be maybe negative one and negative three, okay. So um, what's the distance between these two points? Um, I gotta just, just Maybe in in order to do organize, I should put like x one and y one on top of this, x two, y two on the top of this. So apply this formula. I'm gonna have d equal square root of okay. So x two minus x one is x two minus x one. So negative one minus one, and then square plus y two is negative three. Minus by one is two, and everything square. Then I will have <coughs> so this square root uh, two square negative two, everything square plus negative five, everything square. This give me square root of four plus twenty five which is 29, square root of 29. So this is the distance between these uh, two points. All right. So remember, distance is not a, a, um, a coordinate uh, of the point. So it has to be like a number, a constant number. OK. <clears throat> so what about midpoint? So. For example, we use uh, exactly the same of uh, uh, this two number, and we are looking for what is the coordinate of this point. M. Oh, yeah. So um, <clears throat> the formula of, of the midpoint is uh, uh, I, I did draw down here. It's just going to be x1 plus x2 divided by 2 here for the coordinate of x, 
and the product of coordinate of y gonna be y1 plus y2 everything divided by 2 and what does that mean all right so find out midpoint of these two points I'm gonna have x1 is 1 so m equal 1 plus negative 1 everything divided by 2 comma y1 plus 2 plus minus negative 3 everything divided by 2 and this actually is going to be 0 divided by 2 equals 0 2 plus negative 3 is going to be negative 1 over 2 so this coordinate uh, the coordinate of the midpoint going to be 0 negative half <coughs> okay so um, uh, this all the thing, uh, the special um, formula. Um, so I don't think there's there's problem with um, number one in the um, group growth. For you, you, you know how to solve it. Okay. <coughs> uh, number uh, number two, uh, find the action y intercept. You should know it too. And uh, and you can uh, let me just clear this up. And we're gonna. We're gonna solve, we're gonna find the distance between two points. Oh no, we actually finished that. Okay, let's come to number five. So in number five, they want plot some, um, plot the three points on the given coordinate plane. Okay, so uh, uh, just a general information about uh, the the coordinate plane, you just need to know this how many quadrants? Four quadrants. And this is called quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. Okay, <clears throat> let's go like uh, counterclockwise. Um, um, so now, um, if they want to, if I ask you, hey, what, uh, if I want you to coordinate one, two, Maybe and then negative one two and then zero. Uh, just make a, 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 a harder number. Maybe just say uh, three half. Okay. So one half gonna be where? Is it? One is the x. So here's one, two. So we have the part should be here. One two. The part should be in the quadrant one. All right, and negative one half. So negative one. I mean negative one two. So it's here. Okay, negative one two. So it's the sec second quadrant. And what about this one? Uh, I I just wanna change it become negative three negative two. So negative three here. One two negative two here, and it should be here. So it's uh, negative three, negative two, and this is a third quadrant. All right. So, so that is very, I mean, very close uh, example for uh, number five. Uh, what you can do. All right. Um, and number six is gonna be uh, just similar. So you don't, I don't wanna, uh, you don't, you wanna do it by yourself. Um, okay. So here. Number seven. <clears throat> so they wanna uh, they wanna find uh, the equation. Uh, the line. Okay, so this actually is very important because. Uh, you actually need it to um, to find the equation of the tangent in your uh, Pythagoras class. Uh, so, uh, so in order to do that, you you, ha you have to know to find the equation of the line first. So, uh, in order to find the equation of the line, what you have to do is step one: find the slope of the line. All right. 
Uh, slope of the line in, in the form uh, m equal uh, y two minus y one over x two minus x one. Okay. And then step two, you're gonna just plug in plug um, plug. Uh, your slope okay and one part but I say like x1 y1 into the uh, into the um, what I call slope part slope part Slope part um, slope part form. Okay. So um, slope part form is just y minus y one equal m x minus x one. All right. So you're gonna just plug y x one here, y one here. And then M is from here. All right. Um, so, okay. So that is the way. Mm, okay. So, so uh, for example, um, if I give you, um, if I give you, um, let's see. Um, Say a line with a line has slope and um, slope is two. All right, and it pass um, to. Um, Maybe I say just zero two. All right. So what should I do? I'm gonna. Oh, I have here is m equal to worry. I don't have to worry about this. All right. And example one. And I have another part is two zero two. Right. So I'm gonna just. Right way plug in the form, uh, slope part form, uh, which is y, so this is x1 and y1, uh, minus 2 equal m, what's the m? It's 2, x minus 0. Okay, so just simplify it's going to be equal y minus 2 equal 2x, because x minus 0 is x. So I can I can actually stop here because this core uh, slope I mean part slope form or I would like if, if I would like uh, if I would like to convert it become uh, uh, become y in the I mean um, uh, slope in the set form uh, which is y equal two x plus two so this is called Slope intercept form. So you can either stop here or here because this both are um, a form of the equation. So uh, this is like in the uh, slope intercept form, which is y equal m x plus b, something like that. So M is slow and B is in the, the white intercept. So that is why it's called slope intercept form. Okay. <clears throat> Another problem. Uh, so instead of giving you right way to slope, I would like to have maybe say like a line uh, goes through two parts. 
Alright, so what I should do? First step, slope. Okay, slope. How can I find slope? So I'm gonna max this as x1, y1, x2, y2. Okay, I have y. I'm gonna have, just put down the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Can you see this one? Let me check. Oh. Um, maybe I'm gonna move up a little bit. Uh, let's see. Just clean this up. Okay. So, let's say, nice, two, one, three, then one, two, okay. So I have <clears throat> M equal Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. So that's actually give me X1 here, Y1 here, X2 here, Y2 here. All right, so this gave me Y2 is two. Remember the subtraction, subtract. And three is Y1. So three. Now x2 negative one. Negative one. Subtract. Subtract. X1. Where's x1? Here. It's one. Okay. So now I have two minus three is negative one. Negative two minus one is negative two. Okay. So now minus one, I mean negative one divided by negative two, which is one half. So this is a slope. Okay. Now I'm just gonna go to step two. Block the slope and one point. So I don't choose either this point or this point. Doesn't matter. So what would you like? You're gonna, you're gonna choose this point or this point. So I choose this first. So I have, um, choose point. I'm gonna write, yes, yeah, choose point. Uh, one, three and m equal one two plug in slope sorry can you can you take it slope point form so y minus y minus y one is here three equal m which is one half multiply with <coughs> x minus x1 is one okay so I just finished uh, to have the form of the equation line uh, if I I mean you can stop here or you can just Convert it become the <coughs> uh, slope in slope in the set form, <coughs> which is uh, y equal one half x minus one plus three. Okay, do the division. We're gonna have y equal uh, one half x. Or maybe you cannot see this one. Let me see. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let me move it up. Hi buddy. One more second. I gotta have y equal one half minus one half plus three which is two one half plus three. So let's say one half plus negative one half plus three. Gonna be Plus six half. It's gonna be give me five half. So you're gonna just plus five half. And this called slope intercept form. Alright. So you can either stop here 
or here. Uh, but I, I mean, if they ask you to find the equation of the line, you even get stuck here. You don't have to worry about a certain set form. But it's good. Okay. Thank you.